I cannot believe what we've spotted. And no, we're not just looking at those flowers. We have found something else. Look at that. On a night like tonight that is very chilly, the last thing that I expected was to find a little chameleon sitting out on its perch. But we have indeed. And we haven't found a big one yet. I just keep finding these little baby chameleons, which suits me perfect. Look at it. She took a deep breath there for, for a moment but keeping a very close eye out on everything that's going on out here tonight because because when you are this small, like I said this morning, if you watch the sunrise safari, these little guys are exceptionally vulnerable. And this one's feeling very brave though, coming to perch itself out on a lonely stick. And I don't think it's very old, it's tiny again. And let me, I'm actually gonna very quickly pop around just to show you how big it is. Yeah. I don't want to frighten it. You can, you can see it's watching me now. I promise I'm not going to eat you. Don't worry. I don't like the taste of chameleons. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But look, just to give you an idea, look how massive my hand is in comparison to that tiny little critter. But I'm not going to stay there long just because I don't want to scare it too much. It was a little bit frightened of me, but I'm sure it will settle down. And now it's okay, little chameleon. But it is tiny, absolutely tiny. And it'll relax again, it'll be quite happy out on its perch because it knows if it doesn't hang around out there, it probably won't catch any bypassing insects. But this little guy's got a couple, well, quite a long road ahead of it. As I said, and as you just saw, it is tiny. So it needs to grow, it needs to eat lots so that it can shed its skin every couple of months. But they'll keep growing for a very, very, very long time. Pretty much their entire life they keep on growing, as do most reptiles. It's just as they get older their metabolism starts to slow down a little bit and they don't shed their skin as often as they do. Now if he was really, really angry with me, actually you can sort of see on his body now, normally what happens is that they go black in colour. Uh, the, the granules, which are the scales on uh, their, their skin, basically what happens is they all start to shift around and look at that. That's so cool, mimicking a leaf blowing in the wind, that very slow jagged motion. And you normally see, sorry, I just got distracted there, you'll start to see the black patterns uh, stick out quite a bit. And they also sort of hiss at you, they'll open their mouths and uh, blow the big flap on their neck up just to make themselves look bigger. But this behavior is very important when you're this size to do these slow, jagged movements, not to move too quickly, to make it too obvious. But what an absolute incredible find. We've been so lucky this afternoon. Firstly, we started off with leopards. We had elephants shaking a marula tree. And now we've got, of course, this beautiful little chameleon. But it's time for me to say goodbye. But I hope you've had a wonderful afternoon. It's, I'm, I'm 